welcome back to our AMC series. Last time we talked about the AMC MCQ exam. And now, we are going to talk about the difference between the two most popular Australian Q-Banks, namely the AMEDEX and the M plus X. We divided this blog into four categories, namely price comparison, similarities and differences, content, and how to use them effectively. Price difference between the two, M plus X costs around $100 for one week, $180 for one month, $400 for three months, $580 for six months, and $780 for one year. While for Amidex, one month costs $180, $300 for two months, $360 for three months, $420 for four months, $480 for six months, and $690 for 12 months. This is the price as of now, June 2022. So sometimes Amidex offers discounts. So make sure to visit their website from time to time. So for the similarities between Amidex and M plus X, first is that both require you to use only one device at a time. Second is that you cannot screen capture for both. And third is that you have to have internet access to use both. Both have a demo package that you can access for a week and is helpful if you are still undecided. They also bo both provide questions that are based from the topics that are frequently seen in the AMC MCQ exam. So for the differences between AMEDEX and M plus X, for AMEDEX, you can add an additional of $10 per day to extend your subscription, unlike M plus X that does not have that option. Unlike Amidex, M plus X doesn't have any dedicated application that you can use in your laptops or mobile devices. You can only access it through its website. Amidex started as a Facebook group 8 years ago and now has its own application that you can download after subscribing. The application works on both iOS and Android devices. Amidex has multiple choice questions which you can answer with or without a timer. Also, um, the questions are categorized per system such as cardiovascular or respiratory. So if you're weak in a specific system, you can choose to answer questions from that um, category first or you can answer random questions across all systems. The MCQs are structurally similar to those that appeared from the previous exams. For example, pulmonary embolism, a set of questions that you focus on the diagnosis, while other questions that you focus on the discussion of treatment. Through this, AMEDEX boasts that you will be able to answer the AMC MCQ with ease. During our time, we had approximately 1,700 MCQs, and AMEDEX also provides links to the resources at the end of each question. So how to use AMEDEX effectively? You can study per category first so that you can get a feel of the common questions asked per subject. You can only answer 150 questions at a time and then AMEDEX shows you at the end how many questions you got wrong and right. AMEDEX also creates a compilation of the questions you got wrong so you can go back to them next time. You may also tag a question as important and at the end, AMEDEX creates a compilation for you. Lastly, you can also add notes per question. M plus X does not have a dedicated application unlike Amedex, but you can access M plus X via its website. They also have a range of categories unlike Amedex, wherein the questions are only divided per system. M plus X has notes, practice questions, and mock tests. They have around 4,000 plus questions, which is way more than what Amidex has. So how to use the M plus X effectively? Answer first the practice questions, then make sure to read the topics in their provided notes. You can also make your own notes based from your own readings. M plus X has no links provided for their resources unlike Amidex. I answered the mock test days before our exam. For both QBanks, we advise that you try to simulate the actual exam wherein you gradually increase the number of questions you can answer while remaining focused. 
until you can reach 150 questions in three and a half hours in one sitting. At first, this is exhausting, but if you practice every day, you will get used to answering the questions more effectively. Also, try to answer each question at a maximum time of 1 minute and 40 seconds. People may have different opinions regarding which Q-Bank is the best, but we think they are both good and can help you pass. However, use them with caution as there could be some inconsistent questions. It is always best to check the Australian guidelines and articles, books recommended for the AMC, and sources like UpToDate and Medscape. Again, do not memorize the questions and choices for the AMC. Rather, use the Q-Banks as a guide and study the questions and topics wholeheartedly. Studying for the AMC MCQ is challenging, but try to be really interested because your study for this exam orients you to their practice which may be a lot different from how you do it in your home country. That is why we think that you should let go of any previous bias that you may have. And when answering the questions, always think on how you would manage the patient based on the Australian healthcare system. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Bye! Bye.